Dude, so this is going to be my guide on what is the best gear to get in Questland. Um, <clears throat> this is going to be important, especially for people just starting, because you do want to get that legendary gear as soon as possible. I'm going to show you which what gear is the best. And if it changes in the future, I want to show you how you can tell if it changed okay so the gear i have is lightning striker and um and it's and it's an abyss gear a nordic abyss gear so i just have two types of gear and then i have this one wind weapon uh so the way that you tell um how good a gear is is by looking at the potential now the potential goes up each time you um upgrade it so to compare this helmet to every time you awaken it you get these little stars so you don't want to compare this awaken gear to a uh, regular gear because obviously it's going to be higher because I awaken the gear and that makes the actual base stats of the gear higher by awakening it. So what you want to do is. OK, so there's a compare button, so this has potential 272, which is fairly high it's pretty high and see it's too late to tell if it is any good against this raiders guard because like you can see um it's comparing the awakened potential which increases your base stats to the regular potential so that's no good. But OK, so this is ice gear. So I know this is like the best ice gear you can get. Um, but there are weaker ice gears you can get. I believe this. I know for sure this is the best um, uh, mythical gear you can get. And this is the best poison gear you can get. So you want to get, let me see, let me compare those potentials. So that's high compared to this. You have, you can get guild keys to get this, but 257 is still high. I'm trying to find a gear that's not that good. See, this one is good too. Weaker than both of those though. But they do have, let, okay, so this, this should tell you. 214 now that's too low that's too low now i don't have i don't have a first tier uh lightning striker armor to compare this to but that is very low okay 214 that's super duper low you see they have them those little few points matter OK. But. The potential is not the only thing you want to look at, because this this weapon, I, I w want to use it. It actually has higher potential than the one I use, but the passive skills is not as good. Like you can resurrect once per battle at 10% HP. So that's like when they hit you one more time, you're going to die again. So that's not so good. But what I have equipped, uh, when HP is above 65%, reduce opponent's magic stat. So while you're strong, they're attacking weaker. And when you use any skill, any skill, you heal yourself 5% max HP. There's a 25% chance of you healing 
when you use any skill. That potential is high, is, is lower, but those that's two wait. So that's two twenty nine potential, and this is two forty one. That potential is lower, but the passive skills are just more useful. Okay? But that's an exception to my rule. Typically it's gonna be the uh, it's gonna be the uh, potential that you look at when you're comparing gears gears. Now, how do you get these best gears? Go to the guild shop. There are keys. So to get the best lightning gear, you can just buy this Swift Strike or you can get the Lightning Striker gear key, which I think has that weapon in it. Yep, it has that weapon in it. Now, I don't, I only use, I use a different helmet and I use different um, gauntlets and I use a different ring. So I have three Abyss gear in place of that, which I got from daily, uh, from spending gems daily. See, a lot of these gears, they have bonuses equipped when you equip them with different gears. Let me see. Let me show you different uh, types of gears. So you can't. I can't show you right there. Let me show you. See this one. This one calls for crack and ice room or icebreaker ring. I have that. So why am I? Okay. So I'm getting the bonus is highlighting the bonus, but that's not equipped. Oh, guess what? You know what? I probably have that equipped in the collection. That would be, that would be, yeah. So maybe you get the bonus if you have it equipped in the collection, which is juicy. That's juicy. That's excellent. Yep, yep, it says right there. Statistics of this item will be increased if you meet the conditions to activate gear bonus equip on hero or in collections. Two out of three listed. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Yeah, so I don't, you don't actually have to have them equipped on here. So that changes things. So I could get those. I get, but I have the bonus for pretty much everybody except for that. I don't have it for the kunai, but I have the bonus for, for pretty much everybody already by what I have equipped. So you don't necessarily have to. So what I might wind up doing is instead of having this raider armor which I don't think the potential is that high on it. Let me look at that. 481 on that other one. 475. Okay, actually that is higher than what I have. 478. And this is... Well, well of course that's higher because that's four stars. 481. And all of these are three stars. So... So, kind of maxed out on those guys, but I, I kind of, I just showed you, go to the guild shop and you get, you can get these gears with these keys. You can outright buy a lot of these gears too here and get shards. But I think these, I'm pretty sure, because Ice Sentinel is definitely the best ice gear. Lightning Striker is definitely the best lightning gear. Timeless Arcanist, 
Definitely the best. I think that's myth, myth, mythic gear. And it's this abyss. No, that's poison. So those are the best gears. Let's see what bonus that. Yeah, that's two. That's at two fifty seven. On the first star seed. Just make sure you get those three gear bonuses and you'll be fine. And uh, yeah, make sure you get the two gear bonuses and you'll pretty much be maxed out on your stats. I'm not too sure because they have people in here with seven million power. So I'm not 100 percent sure how they're how they got their power that high. Um, but. Notwithstanding, I have let me see. So this is at four stars, but I haven't empowered it yet. I just need a, a few more empowering crystals. But uh yeah. That's pretty much how you do it. Um you can either you get those keys from there or you can get them from events. You can get these gears from um, from eternal chest, from event chests. Um, but these that you get from the guild shop are going to be your most powerful gear in the game. Start there. They may release something else, but this is the easiest way. See, when you get these keys... You can only, you gonna get one of those gears, right? So I'll probably be buying these keys anyway, so I can um, make sure I. Uh, and of course, you can probably tell the value of each pot of each one by how much, how many guild coins it costs, because the revenant. Ruler gear is cheaper than the Timeless Arcanist, and the Ice Sentinel is cheaper than Lightning. So I guess, essentially, I have the strongest gear in the game. But I, I honestly don't see how I'm going to be able because they have people at 7 million power. I honestly don't see how I'm going to be able to get that strong. I don't see it. I could see myself maybe getting a four mil at the at the rate that my power has been going up and some of my gears about to get maxed. But at the same time, you do have these artifact orbs that I don't have. And I've seen some some players that they have all artifact orbs and I only have one. So that could greatly increase your power there. Definitely. Yeah, if you have all your, your orbs at, and then you have them all enhanced and stuff, yeah. Yep, if you have them enhanced and, and whatnot, you'll be in good shape. But yeah, I, I took a break on buying these because... Yeah, I took a little break on buying these because I'm getting into a different financial situation. Uh, hopefully this one is super stable, super duper stable. Bull guard. What is that? Yeah, see, I don't use beast armor, so don't really care. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, and at this point, if it's not an artifact orb, I don't care. I don't care. Um, yeah. 
So that is how to get the best gear in the game. Currently, it's the Lightning Striker Key, but rule of thumb, just look in the guild shop. Okay, and compare the potentials of the first awake, the first tier item, because once you awaken it, the base stats of the item change. So don't compare those. Don't compare a first one. Don't compare a uh, regular legendary to an awakened legendary as far as potential. Also, you don't want to boost. I haven't boot. I boosted one, but you get more bang for your buck when you awaken than when you boost. You just get a small minor, minor uh, stat boost. So it's not. It's not it's more worth it if you haven't fully awakened to just awaken. Okay, my dudes. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.